Hi guys, welcome to A Hate Math Group. In this video, we're gonna learn how to find the cash flow by using the indirect method. So here you have two balance sheets, the one for 2013 and the one for 2014. Today we're gonna learn how to make the cash flow either used or provided by these activities by using the indirect method. The first step is to figure out what is the net income and the depreciation because these two items are gonna be used to build the cash flow, um, the cash flow statement. So let's go ahead and, and understand what's going on with every single activity. Look at this. In 2013, you start with your accounts receivables. You had 79,000, and I'm just gonna round up the numbers to make the problem easier. And in 2014, you had 110,000. This means that last year people were paying you, but now in 2014, you have more invoices due. They owe you the money, you don't have the money in your pocket, so you need to subtract the difference between 79, 160, and 110, 330. Let's see what happens with the inventory. Look at this. The inventory went from 172,000 to 158. That's actually good. That means that you're selling off your stuff. That means that cash is coming in, so you have to add. Let's talk about now prepaid expenses. Well, look at this. You have 25,000 in 2013, but in 2014, you actually have 26,000. Let's remember, prepaid expenses is done when you prepay rent, you prepay your insurance, you're actually taking your cash out to prepay for something. So that means you're getting money out of your wallet. So that's why you subtract negative 530, which is the difference. Now let's talk about the liabilities. Look at this, accrue expenses payable. It went from 8,000 to 14. That means that when you have an accounts payable or anything, for example, in this case, accrue expense payable, that tells me that you, if, I'm, if I were your CPA, that instead of being paying the people, you're actually keeping the money with you. You are not paying it, you're not paying your payable. So that means that you're keeping the money in your pocket. Now, the same thing with accounts payable. Look at this. Your accounts payable, that means what you owe to people is $95,000. But then on 2014, you actually have 84. Well, that means that you're actually paying people. So this is a negative right here. So let's just go over really quick. Your accounts receivable increase, you subtract. Your inventory increase, you add. Prepaid expenses went up, you subtract. Your payables went up, that means that you're having the money in your pocket. Your accounts payable went down, that means that you pay people so you don't have that money anymore. Now that we have this, we can go ahead and build the cash flow from the operating activities. You start with the net income. Well, then after that, you're gonna do the adjustments. Look, remember how we did negative, the increase of account receivables, the decrease of inventories, and all this. And finally, you need to add up the depreciation. Remember, depreciation is cash that you don't see, but you actually subtract the depreciation before as an expense, so you need to add it up again. And that's gonna give me a positive amount. Because it's positive, that means that this is next cash provided. If this amount was negative, which it could happen sometimes, that means that you use that cash from the operating activities. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to watch our other tutorials. Don't forget, we can also Skype with you. And also, thanks so much for learning.